Hello, friends. Today I will show you two main mistakes in the treatment of a wedge-shaped tooth defect. I will also show you what does not make sense in the treatment in this video, I will show you what is wrong and what is really useful. So let's get started. Here is the first and completely useless action, measuring the depth of the wedge-shaped defect with a tool. Of course, proximity to the nerve matters, but we are talking about the thickness of the remaining hard tissues, which is measured with a special device. Installing a special thread between the gum and the tooth is technically a very correct action. Since this isolates the work surface from moisture. Now you see the stage of etching the enamel with acid. This degreases the surface and makes the enamel more porous. Attention now. This is the most common and gross mistake, due to which the filling will fall out very quickly. The doctor incorrectly formed the cavity into which the restoration material will be placed. In such a cavity, as you can see, the material will not hold. Now a special liquid is applied to the working surface, which penetrates into the enamel pores formed as a result of etching. Now another mistake. The cavity is filled with liquid material. This material has a completely different purpose. And its strength is not enough to withstand improperly prepared cavity walls. The end result is cute but not durable. In addition, improperly selected material will be more vulnerable at the edges. And after a while we will see a dark border around the perimeter of this filling. Let's get a look. Grinding and polishing give the tooth its final look. To prevent inflammation in the gum, it is important to tighten the thread installed under it. This sawing movement of the dental band has no purpose. It's not obligatory. Processing of the material in the interdental spaces is usually done with a special abrasive tape. And with dental hygienic floss or tape, the doctor can only check whether it clings to the edges of the material in the interdental space. Here we see checking the edges of the filling. Now they are normal. But because the wrong material was chosen, after a few weeks of eating, the marginal fit of the material will deteriorate. And we will see a brown border around the perimeter. All this is very useful to know for both the patient and the doctor. Therefore, if one of your colleagues wants to learn how to make strong fillings for wedge-shaped defects, write. But do it persistently. Because there are a lot of comments.